Image to video services are really good right now. These tools are improving and getting new features like each couple of weeks. But why are you still getting results like this? Or this? Some generators constantly have problems with faces or the animations aren't even close to realistic. Today, I'll show you two best image to video tools. You probably know them, but in this video, I'll test settings for better control over different parameters like amount of motion or camera movement. You'll even be able to add hidden images and messages to your AI videos. As bonus, I'll teach you how to remove watermarks. First one is Pika Labs. Open Pika.art. The web interface will probably be available soon, but now you can use it in Discord only. After joining the server, you can use one of these generation rooms or create videos and personal chat with this bot. Here is the list of commands. I'll use slash animate. Here's my image. You can add prompt here. My prompt is just evening. Press this button to create another video with the same settings. First video. Download button. Second one is little bit better. Landscape images are good, but I'll try to input image with face. Here's my AI generated image. Create several generations at once to be able to choose better variation. Both videos aren't bad, but I want to have more control over camera movement, for example. Here's the list of additional parameters you can add to your prompts. Or go to FAQ. Optional parameters. Here is list of parameters with description. And now I'll try to animate real photo. I want to make this girl smile, and I'll add negative prompt, set motion to minimum, and add zoom out effect. Hmm. It squeezed the image and girl isn't smiling. You can use this button to change the prompt and generate again. I don't recommend use high motion values if you try to animate faces and human figures, and I'll add maximum motion value to my landscape image. As you can see, this video is very calm compared to previous generations with this image. And here is a lot of motion and video is a little bit noisy, but not so bad at all. Slash encrypt image is for adding hidden images to your AI videos. You have to use high contrast and simple images to get better results. And first video emoji isn't recognizable enough. Second one is better, I think. If you want to add text to your videos, use the same command instead of encrypt text because you'll be able to choose any font, text size, and background. Prompt is the same, but I'll add more motion and change camera movement. In the second variation, I added words high contrast to my prompt. I like the atmosphere. Here's some neon light on the ground. Second one is Runway. This tool is available at runwayml.com. Create account. Click on Generate Videos and start with image. Here you can see how many seconds you have for video generation. Each video is 4 seconds long and also you can extend your videos by 4 seconds at once. You can animate images with prompt or without it. I'll use the same images here. General motion is how much motion will be in your video. Here are camera movement settings and speed. The result is really smooth and good at all. Download button. And now image plus description. Real photo is input. Prompt is smiling girl. I keep motion and camera movement speed values low. The face is quite clear. I'll decrease general motion value and set zoom out effect and speed to 1.3. Much better now and motion brush. Brush over the areas you want to animate. And set motion in X, Y, and Z ax, which means pan right or left, pan up or down, and zoom in or zoom out. This tool adds some motion not only to selected areas, but I really like the result. And now I'll show you how to extend your videos. Click extend 4 seconds and adjust setting of the additional part of the video. Here I also use low amount of motion because extended part of the video always become little bit blurry or unclear, so high movement values can make things worse. I like the results. Oh. 
Okay. Impressive. And now I'll teach you how to remove small watermarks from any video using Runway. Click on Video Editor Projects. Create Project and click on In Painting. Or you can create Regular Project and then choose In Painting in right sidebar. Here are my generated videos. You can also drag and drop file from your device. You can change brush size and brush over the area you want to in paint. If unwanted object starts appearing, repeat in painting. Here is the result. But you should know that this method works differently in different cases. Click Done in Painting. Then Export. Open Assets to see the loading process. Video is ready. Click Go to Export. Your video will appear in this list. Here is it. Right mouse click and download. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know if you like it. And subscribe, of course.